Hey guys, I got a new CubeSmith order in today, a CubeSmith order in today, and, well not today, it was probably a couple of days ago, but um, I was trying to figure out what cube I was going to put this on, and it's a lot like the Rubik's Icon, but CubeSmith figured they'd make their own, but the only thing is they don't have silver, and from my understanding about silver stickers are, they wear out really easily, and they kind of have like a metallic aluminum -y finish to them so they bend and they scratch and they look nasty and so Hugh Smith likes to pride themselves in having quality stickers so I I guess they just made these without the silver so um, yeah so here it is um, has a Cube Smith logo comes with it and pretty much um, it's got the high quality that it always has um, it uh, you know, like, they're very quality stickers, and it comes with black. Um, black were a pain in the butt to put on because it's a black cube. You can put them on a white cube, I guess, but you'd have a problem with the white side, too. So, yeah, um, black stickers are a pain in the butt. I can't even tell if they're crooked or not. Um, they're probably a little crooked, but you can barely even see it. So, yeah. If I can't see it, I can't notice. I'm very picky about my stickers being straight, as a lot of people are. But, um, yeah. I I was searching on YouTube to try to find a way to sticker a, a, a shade shifting or a, a Rubik's icon. I, I typed in, first of all, I typed in grayscale. Uh, Rubik's Cube, and I can only find solves, and so there's nobody out here who actually has how to sticker a grayscale cube slash Rubik's Icon, and I found a video that one kid, he unboxed his Rubik's Icon, and the sticker colors are the same except for the silver, which I would consider, I would consider this silver side, um, because it was, yeah, let me, let me explain. What he said was, at first he was like, all right, white is opposite black. So when you're stickering your grayscale cube, you want white opposite black. And what I did was I did white first, then I did black, and then I faced the black towards me. And what I did was I went from lightest to darkest. And that, that's what it seems like. Um, actually, no, the white was facing me. Um, yeah, I went from lightest to darkest. So... You have the white facing you, and you're going to flip it. So, all right, so you have the white facing you, and then you're going to put the lightest on top. So this, this is on top when you're stickering your cube. So I'm going to hold it like this a little bit. Uh, actually, I do this backwards just so you guys can understand. Um, you've got white facing you. This is facing you you have your lightest gray first. Then you're gonna turn it, and then, whoa, you're gonna, you're gonna turn it to your left. No, you're gonna turn it to your right. And then you're gonna do, you're gonna do middle gray. Then you're gonna do what I guess you would call middler gray, because <laughs> there's like two middle grays. So you're gonna do the, the next step up of gray. And then after that, you can do your darkest gray, which is almost black. It's very close to black, as you can see. Like looking right here, you can. It looks like the cube is all black, and then it's all black here. But you're gonna do your darkest gray last. So you have your white here. So starting over, you have your white facing you, and you have your lightest gray on top. So white, light gray, then white, middle or gray and then white middle middleist gray and then white dark gray all right and then you have black facing away from you so you want to have your white facing towards you when you sticker it and like i had said before light middler middleist darkest okay so that's how you do it it's pretty simple you just go lightest to darkest and yeah when I tried to solve this 
this stinking cube is tough because you can see here, I I solved, I think I had, I had this gray on top when I first solved it, and as you can see here, these two grays are very close. The middler and middleist are very close, and it's stinking hard. Let me tell you, it probably took me about 10 minutes to solve this, and I can solve a cube in probably, my, my best record is minute 10, and that's using a beginner's method. And, yeah, it was stinking hard. So I, I suggest starting off with black on top or white on top. You know how you would like do the green, blue, or you do the white, yellow. Is that right? Yeah, white, yellow. Um, you want to start off with white or black because they're the two most drastic, di drastically different colors on your cube. So you want to start out with that on top, so you don't you're not sitting here trying to figure out like, oh my gosh, all right, uh, this this matches that color. Oh no, that doesn't match that. So you have, it's just a lot easier to identify, and the only hard part will be is your corners, uh, you're like, 